In this video, we do a little review on scientific notation. And if you recall, scientific notation is a way for us to write very large numbers or very tiny numbers in a form that's going to let us work with them. And so the form has to be as follows. You have to write a number between 1 and 10. Actually, 1 and 9.9999. And then times a power of 10. Okay, so that would be scientific notation. So if you look at the first three problems we have here, they are already in scientific notation. So notice that we have a number that's between 1 and 10. In this, this example, we have 4.17. Okay, in this example, we have 2.362. And in this example, we have 2.3. So this number is between 1 and 10. And it's multiplied times a power of 10, 10 to some exponent. Now, if the exponent is positive, as it is in this case, then this number in scientific notation represents a large number. And how we get the change, and how we change this scientific notation number back to its standard form is that we use this exponent. And when we have a positive exponent, we're going to take the decimal point and move it to the right. And we're going to move it to the right five slots because our exponent is five. So it starts out here, right? There's our decimal point. And now we're going to move it five slots to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're missing some numbers here, so we're going to fill those in with zero. Okay, so now our decimal point is back here. It's gone from here. So our number in standard form is 417,000. Okay. All right, let's look at the next example. Again, we have a positive exponent. So we're going to move the decimal to the right because this scientific notation number represents a large number. So it our decimal point is starting right here and now we're going to go to the right three slots so one two three puts the decimal right here gets rid of it here and puts it here and so this time our number is 2362 that's the number in standard form okay in this example we have a negative exponent so now we're going to move the decimal to the left so we're going to take that decimal and move left because our number here in scientific notation when you have this negative exponent then we know this number is going to represent a very small decimal okay so again here's our original problem our, our original number and we're going to take this decimal and move it to the left four spaces so one two three four we're going to have a decimal right here I'm going to fill in these slots with zeros. So we have this little tiny decimal as our standard form, number in standard form. We have the decimal and three zeros and then the 23. Okay. All right. And just a reminder, what are these, these um, decimal places? Remember, this is the 10th place. This is the hundredth, thousandth, ten thousandths, and one hundred thousandths. So the way you would read this is twenty-three one hundred thousandths. Okay. All right. Tiny number. Okay, let's go backwards. This time we're going to um, start with our number... We're going to start with our number in, in uh, standard form. You can see these three numbers are in standard form. And we want to rewrite them in scientific notation, which means we're going to move their decimal points until we get a number be that is between 1 and 10. So this particular number here, 32 million, its decimal is right now understood to be right there on the, on the right of the last place. 
So when you don't see a decimal written in, that's where the decimal uh, point starts out. And so now we're going to move, and we're going to move to the left. And let's see how many moves it takes for us to end up with a number between 1 and 10. So obviously we got to come in quite a ways, don't we? I mean, a number between 1 and 10, like we can't stop here because that would be 32. See, and that's not between 1 and 10. So we've got to go all the way to here. 3.2. See, now we have a number between 1 and 10. And now count how many places that was that we moved that decimals. Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 slots to the left. So our number in scientific notation will be 3.2 times 10 to the positive 7. Remember from above that when we have large numbers like this that the exponent is positive? So 3.2 times 10 to the 7th is our number in scientific notation. The next um, number we have is 48,500. Again, you don't see a decimal point, so it's understood that the decimal is right here at the end. And we have to move the decimal to the left until we get a number that's between 1 and 10. So we're going to move this. Again, this isn't good enough because that's 48.5. So we got to come right here, right next to that 4, don't we? Because now we have 4.85, and that's the number between 1 and 10. And then how many slots did we move the decimal? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here we have a 4.85 times 10 to the positive 4. We started out with a large number, so our exponent is going to be positive. Okay. This number, this is, remember, this is the 10th place, then the hundredth, then the thousandth, then the ten thousandths. So we have 57 ten thousandths here as a decimal. We want to put it in scientific notation. And we're going to move this time the decimal to the right until we end up with a number that's between 1 and 10. So that's going to be 1, 2. Now we can't stop here because we have 0.57 and that's not a number between 1 and 10. So we got to go all the way to here because then we have 5.7, okay? 5.7, that's a number between 1 and 10, times 10 to that. Now, we know our exponent is going to be negative because we start out with a small decimal. So our exponent is negative, and we move that decimal one, two, three slots. So there's our scientific notation number. Okay, and then we'll do one more, and this is a little word problem here. It says, there are 5.859 times 10 to the 12 miles in one light year. The distance from the Earth to the moon and back is 4.8 times 10 to the 5th power miles. How many round trips to the moon does one light year represent? So we want to um, figure out how many times this number fits in that, doesn't it? So that's a division. So we would have, we would take the light year, okay, and we would divide it by the round trip. Now here's the beauty of working with scientific notation. We can use the powers, we can use our exponent rules to div do this division here. Um, first thing we will do is we are going to take those two, these two numbers, and we're going to divide those. Okay, so let's, let's take out our calculator. Okay, and so here's our calculator. And so we, we want 5.859 divided by 4.8. Okay, so that gives us this decimal. Okay, it's going to be part of our, um, let's see if we can, it's 1.220625, 1.220625. Okay, that's what we get when we divide these two. And then here, do you remember what we do when we divide powers of the same base? Remember what we do with the exponents? If you says we subtract them, you are right. So we're going to go 12 minus 5, which is 7. So 
we got a lot of round trips that we can <laughs> that are um, that fit into that light year, don't they? Because this number is more than a million. Okay. All right.